hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Megan and today's video is part two of the two-part total glam look that I am doing on my channel and today's video is all about the eye look that is right here and so if you want to see how to get this glitter cut crease then just keep watching so first I'm going to be using these two orange shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I didn't realize that my camera wasn't filming at first but I'm just repeating these two steps again by putting those orange colors into my crease then I'm using a darker orange color in the same palette on an angled eye brush and I'm working that into the outer V just to darken up the look a little bit I'm taking this dark brown color on a small pointed brush and on the pointiest end I'm going to take that color and outline where I'm going to cut crease just so I have that line there I can follow along with that line while I'm doing the cut crease. Next I'm using this skin color nude on a big fluffy brush and I'm going to be using that to blend the crease up to my brow bone without it being too harsh. Then I'm taking my shape tape and I'm going to put that on the back of my hand, just dots on the back of my hand. Then with a flat brush, I'm taking that and the first part of this was like out of focus. So I'm starting right here and sorry that I go a little to the side. I was trying to look in my mirror, but I readjust. And I'm just following along that dark brown line that I made and cutting the crease. I speed it up a little bit, but it's just repetitive. But you want to make sure that you have that base down and you're covering everywhere. You get it straight on exactly how you like it. And make sure that you're following your natural shape of your eye. Don't try to like do anything that's not following your natural shape because it may turn out bad. This was easy for me just to follow my eyelid since I already had that dark brown outline. I'm taking that dark brown color again on the exact same pointed brush and I'm just re-outlining where I had originally had it, right where I cut the crease. I'm using this Too Faced Glitter and Pop Glitter Eyeliner in rose gold and I'm just going to outline, put this right over the brown. I didn't want this glitter to go just onto the concealer, I wanted it to go onto the eyeshadow so that's why I re-outlined with the brown. So I just put that on, it's super easy to use. And using that same skin color tone again, I'm putting that on a flat brush and I'm putting this all over my lid. It'll just set the concealer and makes it a little bit more of a pinky tone on my eyelid than just like the white concealer color. Just using that skin tone color again and redoing the crease up to the brow bone. Then I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner. This is what the tip looks like to line my top and make a wing. And then I'm going to be using this waterline eyeliner and doing my top waterline and my bottom and then using my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara to coat my lashes. I'm taking this highlight color from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm putting that in my inner corner and down my brow bone to give myself some pop. Okay so that's the eyes and we're going to attempt to put on some falsies today and I say attempt because I'm not very good at it but we're gonna do it, we're gonna try. So the lashes I'm thinking of wearing today are, are the Ardell Studio FX lashes. Um, Ulta was having a sale on them today, buy two, get one free, so I bought six. And so these are the Ardell 110 Studio FX. And I got the Lash Grip Adhesive. Um, I got it without the like little brushy thing, but I have this little tiny brush 
to use to put that on so I'm gonna come close to you again and we're gonna attempt to do this and I'm probably gonna have to go like down here where my mirror is to put these on like up close so you won't get to watch it but hopefully it looks good after you know we pop it all right I think I need to like redo my eyeliner over it but um yeah I got them on and I think they look pretty good the back like back here is kind of like falling a little bit but that's because like I had to put extra glue on it and I think that's why but I'm just going to redo my eyeliner over the now I'm gonna put more of this mascara on to kind of like bring them together you know okay so to complete the entire look now the foundation and everything before that before the eyes was all part one of my video so go watch that I will put it up here to click on it so go watch that and this is part two with the eyes but I haven't put anything on my lips yet so I'm gonna be using this this is from L'Oreal it is the color rich lipstick in the shade 800 which is fairest nude and I'm just gonna be popping this on my lips I was kind of like over my matte lipsticks and legal lipstick so I just wanted to buy this so I was at Ulta today and I picked this up too I'm just gonna be putting this on Z lips I think it's be good to like match you know Okay, so I think that that is all. Like, I literally think that I have just spent the last three hours filming, but it's okay. It is, it's okay. You know, you do what you love. I wanted to go to the gym. Probably gonna go here right after I take all this makeup off my face. But, um, so thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the two video series for my basically full glam look. I wanted to do an entire full glam look, so I just split it up into two videos. So this is the conclusion of glam video number two. I hope you all enjoyed both videos. And please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And comment videos down below. This will probably be the last two videos I make before I go back to school back to college so I'm gonna be doing my skincare routine and college morning routine both of those like as soon as I get back during syllabus week so those will be going up on my channel after I get those edited but if you have any other video suggestions at all anything else related to college fashion makeup um, I mean even like a little bit of fitness like I go to the gym I don't know if anyone would want to see that I'm not like Whitney Simmons or anyone but if anyone would like to see that or just talk about my workout routine I guess I could do that also if you wanted to see that so yes just subscribe like and comment future videos down below and thank you so 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 much for watching this is definitely like I've only done two looks before but this is like the best my favorite look I've ever done so thank you so much and I will See you next time. Peace.